Hi guys and welcome to Stopwatch tutorial developed using Python. Okay guys, let me show you how this works. I can always click on reset and there we go. And we can start it all over. And click on stop. Restart it. Then click on reset. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into a Python and we start a new tutorial entirely. If you are wondering what is the difference between this Python and the previous one that I did earlier called Timer, the difference is one is a timer and the other one is just a stopwatch. So we start by importing as follows, let's say from Tikinter let's import it all all of the components required we will also import the time the time library let's import that as well and there we say time now for this very tutorial I'm going to be creating two class so this is the first class I'm going to call this stock wash enter column now right underneath i'm going to define as follows those will be the let me define the the function that i'm going to be using for this top wash so i'm going to say initialize as follows and that is going to be self there we go now self dot start underscore time that is going to be equals nothing this is supposed to be dot now I'm going to repeat another one and not let's create a variable now I'm going to call that self dot running and that is going to be equals false then I'm going to create another one. This is going to be self dot labs and the time lapse, and that is going to be let's say time lapse underscore that to be equal zero. There we go. Now let's declare another variable. This will be for the start and stop and also reset so let's start with the start first let's call that start and start is going to have the following and there then using an if statement if not self dot run running I call it if it's not running then I want self dot start underscore time that to be equals time dot pref underscore counter and we say minus the self dot elapse that will be elapse underscore time okay guys so let's call this the self dot run now Come right down here and just paste that there. Step dot run that to be equals true. There. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing for the stop. Just copy this. Paste that in there, and I'm going to change this to stop. And in the case of stop this is going to become false 
and yeah that's fine okay now let's do one for the reset so I'm going to say let's create another function and I will just call this reset there we go and what are we resetting is going to be this start time we're resetting that and we will reset this as well and all of this in fact and right down just paste that there let's get the indentation right here okay once the time has reset we want the elapsed time to become zero and the run will be false so let's come in there first elapsed time then the running becomes false okay that is fine and the other function the most important one of them is the one I'm going to call update and after this we put together some widget in this case I'm going to say if self dot running so let's say if self dot running then we want the elapsed time this very one here grab all of that let's paste it right in there this should be if so in this case it's going to be elapsed time here this very one here just cut that off so save dot and bring start in here okay there we go now let's check out the minutes minutes that is going to be that's a variable for minute that's going to be self dot the elapsed time this very one and we divide that by 60 and seconds seconds in this case is going to be taking the integer value elapsed time as well same dot elapsed time minus minute then we multiply it by 60 let's say minus or you can say subtract minutes then we multiply that by 60 I think that is correct yep now we want it to read in hundreds so let's come down here and just say hundreds so that's another variable That is going to be equals integer and that's going to be let's just grab all of everything in here elapse and you minus minutes from it multiply by 60 and let's just make that float then we minus that very one by seconds yeah then uh, let's say times 100 there and finally for this update we need to return minutes seconds and hundred so let's come down here and just say return F and what are we returning? We're returning minutes. And I'm just gonna enter column in there to make it float. Then we're going to be returning seconds as well. 
this should be a coily braces yeah coily braces in there and seconds as well so i can just copy this second hundred and here will be seconds grab hold of these seconds paste that in here there we go grab hold of hundreds paste that in here there and just close that up here there so i'm going to save this now just to be on a safe side so that i don't lose anything so let's go into file save us i'm going to save it straight onto my desktop i think i have a folder here stopwatch okay i'm going to call that stopwatch youtube yt there we go save now let's create another class the other class we're going to create now will be for my widgets so have a good look at these lines of code take it from the top bring it down we're going to be coming to all of this later on we are almost done now anyway so come down here and right here i'm going to start by creating a new class this class i will just call it app all right so first off that should be let's define my function so let's say initialize as follows so that's going to be self comma root there we go and now what do i have in there I'm going to have the set dot root and that's going to be equals root so copy this set dot root equals root this should be dot okay then I also need set dot title so come right down here paste that in there self dot root dot title or we can just say root yeah let's okay let's say dot title and the title is going to be stop watch there I'm also going to set the geometry so So I'm going to set my geometry, let's say, save dot root dot root dot geometry. And I'm going to define the size as 1140 let's say by 600 and the let's okay let's make the coordinate 300 by 200 all right close that now i also want to let's say save dot configure dot configure the route Save dot configure so that I can then assign my BG color that is going to be equals cadet blue. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think we can try this out now, but before then, let's get all this right. This indentation will surely give me a problem. And let's just let's undo that and I'm gonna select it all then hold on to the control and press the square bracket now press
press the other square bracket one more and this just indent that one yeah that's fine okay now let's just look oops look at this get rid of that let's come in here run no i can't run it just yet save that before i run it let me do one thing i'm going to close this up here so let's say root that is equals tk the k is lowercase and i'm now going to also close my app i'm going to say lowercase app equals app underscore root then i'm also going to say root dot main i like you to loop there i just want to try it out to make sure i can get hold of my framework okay have a good look at that let's click on run we have to save it first though there we go all right let's add some frames and widgets so right underneath here I'm going to create a frame and this very frame I'm going to call that root frame something like that yeah that's fine root frame equals the widget frame and this widget frame is going to be a child of the root itself and a BG the color is going to be cadet blue as well which is right up here okay so that is going to be the cadet blue paste that in there and um, what else let's get a bit of padding i'm going to make that two to the y axis and to the left uh, to the x axis i'm going to make that about 40. Get rid of this. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now, let's add a border. As BG, I'm going to make that 20. Believe uh, that might be too much, but yeah, that's fine. That is going to be rigged. There we go. Close that. Now, let's run this, this route up this root frame I mean so I'm going to say root frame dot grid and the role is going to be zero comma column will be zero as well equals zero there I've just created my first frame now underneath here I'm going to create another widget. I'm going to call it LBL title. LBL title, that's going to be a label. And this label is going to be a child of the root frame. There we go. Now, let's set the font. The font for this label, let's say equals. Let's make that, the font is going to be an area. And the size of this font, I'm going to make that about 100. Then I'll make it bold. Close that. The text content on it, that's going to just be, let's call that stop. Watch. That's the test content on it. And the border style, I'm going to make that red blue. That is the border. That is the color. Now, if that is the color, the font, FG font color, I'm going to call that con silk. there and let's get it justified 
justify center then you can add a border if you want border width I will make that about 12 and the width of everything of this label is going to be equals 11 there we go all right let's correct this error here there that is that done now I'm going to run this up grab hold of that paste it right in here and it's going to be grill dot griddle row zero column zero and maybe get it padded though that's 10 okay I'm going to let's correct one or two error first because I want to try this out as that was meant to be font and there's meant to be a comma here right okay I'm going to just click on that save it first there we go okay so that is taken care of now I want to add more frames so I might as well just copy this come right down here and this very frame I'm going to call it main frame there we go main frame is going to be a child of the root but it's going to be inside roll one Okay, now mainframe we have its own child as well. One and two. I'm going to call this one top frame and maybe bottom frame. Mainframe top, mainframe bottom. Okay, that's fine. Let's leave that like that. And if this is in here this will be zero there okay so that means I have two frames inside this very frame but it's going to they are both going to be tried of main frame changes to main frame main frame here as well there I'm going to just run that before tidying up things and see how that looks like okay let's see so I'm going to add some padding so that I can give it a bit of shape this one is going to be let's make that about 30 and make this maybe about 40 and I'm going to make this 30 there we go okay I'm, I just noticed I have I've already get it padded here so you see this one I'm just gonna change that to let me say width I'm gonna make the width about the overall will is 1000 plus I may maybe make that about a thousand and see or maybe 900 then the height here I'm gonna make the height let's come in here make that about that and I will repeat the same thing for these other ones here because I copied this anyway so let's come in here and change that around right and repeat the same thing here okay maybe this I can make that 200 200 and let's run it and see how that's gonna look like we'll save it first there we go all right we're getting somewhere okay that's good may have to reduce this to 900 though 999 all right save run all right you can always stretch it with the widgets now the next thing we want to do and I want to create my 
first of all we need to create a label so i'll just copy this label now come down here and paste that label in here and this label that i've just paste to be a child of this top frame yeah a child of the top frame and it's going to be known as LDL stopwatch so let's just make that self right and here as well okay okay right here I'm going to change the text content on it that's going to be zero zero column zero zero column double zero that's going to be the text content on it. I'm going to get rid of the. I will get rid of the background. No background for it. And in that case, I don't need it. That means it's just going to be black. Okay, what else? If it's just going to be black, what about the width? Okay, I'm going to move that. Let's cut that off, paste that in here. Make that about 22 get rid of this is going to be centered so I'm gonna get rid of this and here yeah get rid of this yeah get rid of that make sure that is saved just going to save it and see how, it, how that's going to look like okay 22 there should be a comma here right let's do that again save and run there we go look at that but that seems to be too large okay that's good we're getting somewhere oh the font type look at the font now we don't want 100 for that. I'm going to make that about 50. Let me run it again. There we go. Very good. All right, that is top sorted. Now, we need to add buttons. Self dot start underscore button. Widget is going to be button uppercase and it's a child of mainframe bottom there okay the text on it that is going to be start okay that is start and the font yeah I'm gonna make use of this as well paste that there that's taken care of what else do we want for it the width I can make about maybe about nine or so or 10 something like that well let's see let's enter 9 first if we have to then we increase it that is it for that so let's get it let's round it up well, I'm just gonna copy this paste it underneath here and run it up copy paste this is going to be grid zero. Okay, the other one will be one. I think I'm going to have three there. Two, three. And this one is 
0, 1, and 2. Okay, this will be reset. Now we change this one to reset. This is stop. Stop here and now stop here. There. I'm going to try it out before I do any other thing. So let's come in and just run and see. There we go. All right, we just need to tidy it up a little bit more. Let's do that again. Run. There. Okay, I just need to tidy one or two things up. Okay, let's exit out and see what we can do with these buttons. I think it's got to do with the size of the font. So I'm going to exit out. Let's come in here. I'm going to change the size of the font to 40 by 40 by 40. And let's save and run it again. There we go. Look at that. All right, that's much better now. Okay, let's finalize the whole process. We now need the last four functions that will take care of all of these functions that I have up here. I might as well just copy them and just replace as I go along. Copy. Right underneath here. Paste. Now, with the start, get rid of all of these. They need that. With the start, all I just want it to do is to call the update. So we say self dot update. Get rid of this as well. Self dot update underscore timer, I believe. So I'm going to say underscore timer. The underscore timer that is going to be this update here. So maybe I should just correct the naming first. Let's correct all of the names. Get rid of this. Get rid of this as well. And all of this here. And change this to update underscore timer. This one is reset underscore timer. Stop underscore timer. Start underscore timer. Okay, so the first one is update underscore timer. Um, let's say stop. In here we say save dot watch dot start. Okay, we well, want it to start as follows. All right, then after that, we want it to stop. Let's see this indentation need to be taken care of. Let's start. And this will be stop. There. Then reset. For reset, that is going to be stop. Okay, let's see. Right. Stop. Reset. Save dot stopwatch reset. Reset. And finally, we get hold of the update 
know what this is from and this should have been updated. That is said dot update here. And there. That's the problem sometimes when you copy. Now the reset we have the set dot update as well. There. And here we now need to call LDL stopwatch dot configure and that is going to be text equals self dot stopwatch dot update dot update okay close that up then after that we now need to say self dot root dot after 10 comma self dot update we'll do that self dot self self underscore update underscore update timer update timer self dot update timer right so let me just check it properly and make sure it's okay to run but we need to call every component first okay guys now this these three functions we need to call them so i'm going to call this one first the start so let's come back in here i want to press enter so that you guys can see it comma i'm going to say command that is going to be equals self dot start so that is the very first one called i'm going to copy it let's put a space here so that you guys can see and understand what i'm up to comma here this will be start i'll stop and another comma here press enter command equals self dot reset there reset timer yeah that's the name okay i'm going to just try it out let's see yeah. i'll take it from the run there we go if i click on that nothing is happening so let me check and see very good i have an error oh stop watch okay as you can see i have an, I have an error the stopwatch that ought to have been called inside my my function here my class here actually oh look at that i did not call my stopwatch so i'm just going to put that somewhere that's a self dot stopwatch that to be equals that is me now calling the very first class okay that is the stopwatch which there should be parentheses here that is it right here this function i was meant to this class i was meant to have called that very class and that is it right here now okay so let me run it hopefully i think that will be my last error that's the stopwatch i was calling here all the way all right run there we go you check that out guys you see that that's how you create your own stopwatch you see the difference between the stopwatch and the timer 
So check out the video on the timer and uh, you can compare that with this stopwatch. So if I click on stop, there. Start. Okay, see that? Reset. Start all over. Okay, see that? So, just before I go, let me show you guys the lines of codes one more time. Take it from the top. Create your stopwatch class. Make sure you call this very stopwatch class. Don't go and forget. It has to be called in the, in the application class. Bring it down. That is the application class. This is where I mistakenly I mistakenly left that out, but I've called it now. And here I created all my widgets. Okay. And this is the function that I use to execute the commands. And right here I end the program. So running one more time. There we go. Okay guys, with that I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel. And you can also join to become a member of the channel. There are a lot of benefits for members. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.